welcome back to another red dice diaries video now jdr d30 apologies if i've not pronounced that right asked me in the comments to one of my earlier videos what's the difference between fudge and fate now here's my copy of the fudge system produced by grey ghost press and here is my copy of fate cork produced by evil hat productions now fudge was put my version of fudge was published in 1995 and fate core which is derived from it was published in 2003 now they both have a common ancestry the later fate core system having evolved through several iterations from the fudge system the main differences as far as i can see are that in fudge there are more trait types since it has attributes, skills, gifts, faults, personality, to name a handful of them. Whereas in Fate, you only really have aspects, skills, and stunts. Now, Fudge also goes into more systemic detail about things like magic, psi powers, combat etc in the book whereas the fate core book adopts the approach that because the main core rule system is so simple it gives you a set of guidelines then pretty much turns you loose with a little bit of direction from them to run free and come up with whatever you can imagine now i can see that the fate core book system approach would benefit people are potentially a little bit more experienced or a little bit more willing to just throw caution to the wind and come up with their own stuff however the fudge approach may suit people who are maybe not as initially sure of themselves or like a bit more structure turning over my notes there i can see that the fudge combat is a lot more crunchy a lot more numbers based than the fate core system combat is fate core system tends to abstract a lot of things in combat whereas there are numerous modifiers and other stats that are brought into play in fudge i think it's clear to see that fudge is closer to the origins of the sort of D D esque role playing which would have been what more people were more comfortable with at the time when fudge was released whereas fate core and associated products have diverged more from that starting point and have become a more storytelling more abstract game now which one of those you prefer is entirely up to you also fudge seems based more around the idea of converting one or more games to run together and there's an entire chapter devoted to that that's very well written in the fudged book using it as a sort of um, a crossing point to bring disparate systems together now F fate doesn't focus so much on this um, conversion of games outlining that you'd be running more sort of things you come up with yourself or existing fate products however you can clearly see that the two games share this heritage there since there's an awful lot of fate hacks on the internet as they're called designed to make fate run versions of other games i've produced one or two myself and the fate system because of this heritage is still extremely good for this sort of thing all you need to do really is focus on the the spirit the the, the core of the game you're looking to run in fate and then you can pretty much work the fate system around it. The fate system is very easy to understand, very abstract, so it can easily be moulded into precisely whatever you need to run your game. Whereas, as I say, the fudge system, although very good, is a little more structured, a little more numbers based. So what it basically comes down to is which of these two approaches do you prefer? Do you prefer the fate core approach, which is more abstracted, a little more story based more based on the gaming fiction and less concerned with every single modifier and the minutiae of some things or do you prefer a more structured approach the fudge approach 
where everything has its place and everything is taken into account. Personally, I prefer this approach. However, you may prefer that. But that's what I see as be the main difference between Fudge and Fate. And I hope that's answered your question, JDRD30. If anyone has any comments, please leave them in the box below. As always, I look forward to reading what you've write. And I hope that if you enjoy these videos, if you've not subscribed already, that you'll click on the subscribe button. I look forward to reading what you've written.